Will DJ Pro replace Serato as the go-to professional DJ software? I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and in this video, I'm going to show you why I believe so. Now, when I first started DJing about seven or eight years ago, I was hanging out with people that would throw raves, and I was involved in the rave scene, and they would throw parties, and they would, and everyone was a DJ, and they all used Tractor. So I wanted to learn how to DJ, but I didn't have a laptop. I didn't have much money at that time, but I really wanted to learn how to DJ, so I downloaded the DJ Pro app on my phone, and I was obsessed with it. That's all I did was DJ on my phone, and, and then eventually I got an iPad and I started DJing on the iPad. And people would just, everybody that's been DJing, professional DJs, they would dismiss it. They would say, that's not real DJing. You can't DJ on the iPad. You can't DJ on your phone. And DJing with streaming services, that's not real DJing. You can't do that. Well, it turns out that all those people were wrong. And DJing with the iPad is taken off now and I believe eventually it's going to replace laptops altogether. And Tractor, most people don't even use Tractor anymore. They either use Serato or Virtual DJ or Rekordbox. Now, Serato was one of the first digital DJ softwares, which is what people used right after. It was the next step after regular record players and a mixer. And they were, it was ahead of its time, but they have not kept up with DJ Pro. DJ Pro was the first DJ program to offer streaming services, which is now the uh, which is now standard on all the other DJ softwares. But DJ Pro has been doing it the longest, and their interface and their integrations with these streaming services are better. Another reason why I believe that DJ Pro is going to replace Silverado and Recordbox and the other popular DJ softwares as the main DJ software is because of how advanced they are. They were the first first ones to introduce Neuromix and that completely changed the whole way that everyone's gonna DJ in, in the future. You have the ability to make acapellas on the fly, ability to make instrumentals, and it gives you so much more precise control over the music. You can manipulate it any way you want and then you could let your creativity go crazy, make remixes, mashups, and stuff like that. Now, Rekordbox and Serato have released similar features, but I believe that DJ Pro, they were the first ones to do it, and they are the best at it. Another thing is Auto Mix. This is one of the main reasons, and I'm not happy about it, but eventually, we're going to be replaced by, by artificial intelligence, and DJ Pro has been updating and they made new updates recently with Automix. You have more access to it. So now you can be DJing, doing your skills on the decks, and then you can hop on, put Automix on, go enjoy the party, do something else, go to the bathroom, and you're not handcuffed to the decks like you used to be. A lot of people don't like Automix and they are gonna and they try to dismiss it and say that, oh, that's not real DJing, but I believe it is real DJ, and if you know how to work the system, work the program, and program everything right, and do all the work in advance, you're still a real DJ. And AutoMix is awesome. Now, one of the biggest issues with DJ Pro when it comes to professional gigs and club gigs and stuff like that is the hardware. You used to only be able to use controllers like this, which on a controller you could do everything that you need to do. You have all the buttons, all the sliders, but Professional DJs at the club, if you're playing on other people's equipment, you're going to have to use CDJs. And this could be scary because you're used to DJ Pro, you're used to DJing on an iPad, and the CDJs are different. But now, DJ Pro has officially integrated with the CDJ 3000. I emailed them, and they have not sent me my pair of CDJ 3000s because they're really expensive. But if they do... Or maybe comment down below and tell Pioneer to send it to me and I will review it. But there's a tutorial video on the Algorithm website. And it looks a little complicated, but really, really awesome. You could use the screens on the CDJs to view stuff that you could on DJ Pro. So 
the future of DJing, as you guys noticed, with all these new controllers and CDJs and hardware, they're putting screens on everything. And we have become great at DJing with touchscreens, so this is good for us. So the way it's going to work in the future is you show up to the, to the club or the festival, and then you go there, there's CDJs, and you don't need to bring anything with you, except, except your headphones. You don't want to use someone else's headphones, but you don't even need a USB stick. You just log in on the controller, log into your DJ Pro account, log into your streaming service, and there you go. You got your, you got your software, and you have all your music right there, all your playlists, and everything is ready to go. And with how 5G is going, and pretty soon in the future, you're going to have great internet service wherever you are, so the internet is not going to be an issue. You guys might have heard about a thing called the metaverse. And this is the future, and there's already been DJs and singers and celebrities that have, through parties and concerts and paid events, in the metaverse in virtual reality. And DJ Pro has an AI gesture control feature built in already. So you could use your hands without touching the iPad, and you could do scratches, you could do effects, you could do filters. Uh, it's a little bit... It's a little bit hard to get used to, but this is what I believe is going to be the technology that DJ Pro uses for DJing in the metaverse. So they could already track our hands, and they're going to be able to track all of our movements, and then you could just sit there in your living room and be DJing on virtual decks, just like uh, there's a Oculus Quest game called Tribe, and you're in there DJing. I did my other video... DJing in the metaverse, I went into more detail about it. But that's the future of DJing, and DJ Pro is the only DJ software that already integrates AI gesture control. So I think in updates in the future, they're just going to get more advanced with it, and I'm really excited to see what happens with it. Another thing that's really great with DJ Pro is their playlist. I think they have the best playlist library features out of any of the other DJ softwares and you have so much access to organize and keep everything organized and then you could find songs directly from streaming services and then have different songs you could have a song from Tidal a song from Beatport and a song that's locally on your device all in one playlist and then you could organize them the way you want you could move songs to to different orders in the playlist and they will stay there forever. So this feature makes DJing so much more fun because it's so easy to find all of your songs. If you guys like learning about the future of DJing and learning about thinking outside of the box with DJing and all the updates with DJ Pro, DJing in the iPad, and DJing in the Metaverse, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. If you comment down below, I'll answer any any of your questions to the best of my ability. So just let me know what you would like me to make another video on, anything that you're having trouble with, and I will be glad to help you. Thank you.